like you'll be taking over the Carrick and Timber holdings before long. I generally get what I go after. You've done a good job, Petrie. But I'll feel easier when I know his logging crew has quit. One of my boys is taking care of that. He started a jinx scare at the camp. Are you sure it's going to work? Oh, it's a saint. In that case, I'm going back to the city. Let me know immediately if anything goes wrong or word leaks out that I bought the Ajax Mills. No, I... Take him to the bunkhouse, quick. And send for the doctor. Hurry up, take him along. Now, what happened? Me and Joe was skidding this log when the lift chain broke. And I jumped clear, and Joe tried to trap the log with his can hook. He was knocked cold by the handle. There sure must be a jinx on this camp. Jinx, jinx. How many times must I tell you shut up about these jinx? I'll get back to work. I don't know what you boys are going to do, but I'm quitting. There's been too many accidents happening around here, and I ain't going to let the jinx get me. I'm leaving here while I'm still in one piece. And that goes for me, too. Well, what are we waiting for? All right, let's get our time. Come on, hey, come on, man. Go. Come on there. Come on, let's go. Can't stop fighting my restaurant, you drunken sot. Did the bank of Winston turn you out? Mm-hmm. Said he wouldn't let me have any more money on an unsecured note. Looks like I'm sunk, Donna. If I don't get more money pretty quick, I won't be able to finish my contract with Ajax Mills on time. What about that rancher friend of yours, Buck Peters? Won't he help? Hmm. Buck's having trouble of his own, I guess. He hasn't answered my letter yet. What are you going to do? I don't know. I guess I'll have to forfeit my performance bonds. Well, that means losing everything you got? I suppose so. Hope I can sell it enough to take care of Elaine. Jim, I've got a couple of thousand put away for a rainy day. They're yours. Can't take your money, Donna. Why not? Because a couple of thousand isn't enough, and I don't want you to lose your nest egg. Jim Carrigan, you're talking like a quitter. Where's your gumption, man? Remember, no one can lick you but yourself. You've got to keep on fighting. And my money will help, and you'll hear from Buck Peters. I guess I have been feeling a little sorry for myself, Donna. I accept your offer, thanks. Thanks, Jim. Where are you going? Back to camp, why? Well, wait a minute, I'll go with you. Hmm. You'll break your neck someday, my little friend. Yeah, I, I'm pretty hardy. <laughs> Big, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't stop you for quit, but you have agreed with Monsieur Kerrigan to wait for pay until the job is finished. You get your money then. Yeah, that's what you think. We're not risking our next year any longer. Come on, men. Sure, go on. Go on, all of you, get out. I think you are real men with hair on your chest, but you, you are just little scared baby. Baby, huh? Wait. Oh, you want more fight, eh? Come on, Tommy, let's get in. Take it easy, Johnny.
give you all five minutes to leave camp. Well, dog my cats, I ain't glad to see you two horse thieves. California, how are you? Fine, huh? How are you, Johnny? Looking fine, California. Oh, starting to think Buck wasn't going to let you go. Oh, you never knew Buck to let a friend down. Merci, monsieur. Thank you. I think maybe you saved my life, huh? Uh, it's all right. I was Oh, by Batiste. I want you to meet an old part of mine, Hopalong Cassidy. How are you, monsieur? Batiste, the greatest woods boss in the whole country. Is that so? That's a friend of mine, Johnny Nelson. I'm glad to know you. Sir. Hey, California. You were pretty brave picking on a big fellow like that bare handed Ah, oh, shucks, it weren't nothing. Why, just after I left the bar 20, I tangled with a Saginaw burglar who came at me with a knife. Yeah? Yes, sir. Well, I kicked the big sticker out of his hands, and then we wouldn't have it with our bare fists. No. Yeah. I polished him off with a sock to the chin, jarred his liver loose with a left, and then I singed his whiskers with a right just like this. Well, sir... <laughs> you must be careful, my little friend. You hurt yourself. Yeah, that ain't right hit me when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Looks like your cook's walking off on you, too. A darn good rent. She never was any good know-how. I'll do the cooking. No, 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 no. I have a strong stomach, but not that strong. <laughs> In good shape, huh? Say, where will we find Carrigan? Well, he just went to town, Hoppy, but he ought to be back soon. Oh. Come on, keep your chin up, Jim. You'll get another crew somewhere. Get it. Come on. And ever since Kerrigan contracted to deliver 20 million feet to the Ajax Mills, he's had a run of bad luck. Hmm. You mean if he, uh, if he don't meet his contract on a specified date that he loses all his timber holdings? Yeah, yeah. That's it, Hoppy. Here it comes now. Mm. How are you, Jim? <laughs> Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. I'm glad to see both of you. <laughs> Donna, a couple of Buck Peters boys. Hop along, Cassidy. Hello. Johnny Nelson. Hello, Johnny. Donna Ryan, a real friend. Oh. <laughs> Hope Buck sent you over some good news for me. He certainly did. There's fifteen thousand dollars for you. <laughs> I, I knew he wouldn't fail me. Now you can finish that job on time. <laughs> I don't know about that. What do you mean, Jim? Just saw most of the men leaving camp. I don't know where I'll get a new crew. Well, there's other loggers you can get in this country, ain't they? Plenty of them, Johnny. The word's going around this camp is jinxed. They're all afraid to work for me. We'll iron it out somehow, Jim. What's more, don't worry about the new cook. From now on, I'll take charge of the grub department. Donna, I just took charge. <laughs> oh, you did, huh? <laughs> yeah. I know more about eating the... Here. That's a great fair. Aren't they? Hey, Jim, uh, do you have any idea who's behind this trouble, yours? No, but I sure would like to lay my hands on them. What about the Ajax outfit? Well, it's logical to suspect them. But Hoppy, I've dealt with them for years, and they're as honest as the day is long. Uh, guess that lets them out. Yeah. You know, the more I see of this business, the more I wish I hadn't promised Buck we'd come back for that roundup. You can't leave here now. I'm going to wire Buck and ask him to let you stay here to see me through this thing. Good. We'd like nothing better. I'm in touch with him right away. Oh, Jim. Yeah. Why don't you wire some of your friends up north to get a crew together and send them down here? I've already done that, Hoppy. All the loggers up there have heard of the axes we've been having. Well, try them again. Tell them the spot you're really in. They'll probably find some way to help you. All right. I'll try it. Telegram, Pete. Yep. Just got another one came in a few minutes ago. Well, open her up. Don't be afraid of it. All right. What's the matter? Read it. Impossible to find men willing to work in your camp owing to reports of many accidents. Sorry, Willis. What I do now? Ah, uh, keep your chin up, Jim. Maybe all your friends haven't answered yet. Come on. Bye. 
stands a chance of meeting his contract. Still plenty of ways to cripple his camp. How did you know I was in trouble? Why, Donna wrote me at school and explained what was happening. Well, how and where'd you pick up these men? They're Tom Olson's men, Dad. I stopped off on my way down here and explained what you were up against, and he turned the whole fighting 40 over to me. That's certainly you and your head, girl. Now I can start some real logging, huh?
How's that for using an axe? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Your job pretty good. But you will give us a big scare. Trees fall the wrong way. Yeah, I guess I did figure that in a little wrong. Yeah, a little. Uh, maybe you better go back to camp and take a rest. And tomorrow you're not stiff like bored, huh? Maybe that's a good idea. Come on, Elaine, let's go see what Hoppy's doing. <laughs> little, huh? <laughs> Several Eastern Timberwolves tried to buy those stands, but I can't bring myself to accept their offers. Why not, Jim? I don't want to see those beautiful hillsides turn to ugly, barren wastes. Uh, I can't blame you for that. That's what'll happen if they get a hold of those tracks. You see, Hoppy, I made it a practice to plant a tree for every one I cut down. Why do you do that, Mr. Kerrigan? Those trees hold the moisture in the ground. They're a watershed. Sure, you cut them down, along comes a cloud burst, and you flood the whole valley. Someday there'll be a law passed requiring people to plant a tree for every one they cut down. And there should be. What happened? The board came loose. I don't mean the board, I mean that explosion. I'm telling you the board. Explosion? Yes. The flume she blow up. Anyone hurt? No, monsieur. But someone will be if I get my hands on the Luke Garou. What do these? How bad's the damage? Very bad, monsieur. It will take too long for to fix. But how will you get the logs to the river? Well, we've still got the horses. We just get the logs to the lower rollways. That's going to take too long, yeah? I know, Johnny, but there's nothing else we can do. Well, in that case, we'd better give the horses a little extra attention. Yeah. Come on, Johnny. other boys know who he is? No, no, no we don't. Boys and oats. Johnny, saddle my horse. You bet. Come on, boys, take him back to camp. What are you doing in there? Put him up! Hi, Hoppy. I'm sorry, this darn board. <laughs> uh, it's all right, it could have happened to anybody. Yeah. I'm taking a shortcut to town. I'll meet you at the delivery table. All right. Nick, while we were running for cover. You think anybody followed you here? Nah, we made a clean getaway. 
But I think we better lay low for a while. It's getting too risky. We're getting paid to take risks, aren't we? And besides... And besides, it isn't every day we can sit back and watch the... What's the matter? I thought I heard someone outside here. I guess not. I wonder what Hoppy's up to. Well, whatever it is, you can be sure he's doing a good job of it. Hey, here he come now. Jim. Yeah? Petrie and his men are the ones we're after. Petrie? Yeah. Petrie? I twist his neck like a chick. Oh, wait a minute. We're leaving them alone for a while. Leave them alone? Why? Why do you leave them alone? They're only small fry. If we grab them now and they refuse to talk, we'll lose a chance to smoke out the man that's behind them. And he'll probably hire some other men to do his dirty work for him. You're right, Hoppy. It'd be easier to watch Petrie and his man. How do you plan to smoke out the head coyote? By making them think that you're going to meet your contract. If I'm not mistaken, he'll show his hand. And when he does, we'll set a trap and catch him and the rest of them red-handed. Sounds good, but how are you going to throw a scare into him with the flume gone and the line slowed up? Jim, why not offer the fighting 40 a bonus to speed up the logging? Oh, no, that wouldn't help much. Skidding logs is slow work, you know. Yeah, I know it is. Wait a minute. We're not going to skid the logs. No, no, no. Skid you you must skid them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why don't we try making a, a building a, a an overhead carriage? Huh? A high line rig. High line? Yeah. Uh, skid them through the air on a cable. Through the air on. We oui, we oui, Mister Hoppy. By God, we let them loop guru red, huh? I'm sitting back and taking lessons from now on. You're running this show, Hoppy. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. That thread's a little long. No, it's all right. Okay. I'll do it. California, why don't you mind your own business? Go on back to work. California, why don't you mind? You're always but. <laughs> Any cute? <huh? laughs> I was his get out. <laughs> <work. laughs> Everything she's already at the rollways, monsieur. Huh? That's fine. Well, Jim, we'll soon find out whether this thing works or not. If it doesn't, I'm sunk. Yeah, and if it doesn't, I wish I'd gone back to help with that roundup. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
pretty good, Monsieur Hoppy. Uh, so far. Hey, we take any smoke next. Well, Dad, looks like your troubles will soon be over. I hope so, Len. There's no telling what may happen yet. Well, I wouldn't worry about any more trouble popping up. Petrie and Slate's being watched too close. Hmm. Who are they? They work for somebody that's after your father's scalp. You still think the headman will show up? I certainly hope so. The sooner the better. Johnny, just give him a hand here. Sure. He's in his office, Mr. Yates. Why, Mr. Yates, how are you? Well, what have you got to say for yourself? If you mean about Kerrigan, there's nothing I can add to what I've already written you. Oh, there isn't, eh? I'm disappointed in you, Petrie. You've let me down. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Yates. Sorry, bah. I'm paying you to get results, not for making excuses. Now listen. I can't afford to let Kerrigan complete that contract. So you get busy at once, and I'll add another thousand to the bonus I've already promised you. It'll be suicide to try and do anything now. They've already killed three of my men. Well, I'll make it five thousand more. Yates, sending my men out now just to be shot at isn't going to help you or me. I've got a better idea. Well, what is it? Me and the boys will lay low until Kerrigan thinks it's safe to pull in his guards. Then we'll strike. Hard. How does that sound to you? All right. But don't wait too long. Leave that to me. Timber! You got the makings of a real lumberjack, Johnny. Think so? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure I want to be a logger. Riding the range is a whole lot easier on the back. <laughs> hey, what's this? Happy? What's the excitement? Eastern dude just drive in town and start chilling with Petrie. Petrie? Maybe that's the guy we're after, Happy. Did you find out who he was? I heard a bartender call him Day 38 or something. He must mean Yates. That's one of the timber wolves after my hillside holdings. He's still after him, Jim. That's the man we want. Now that we got him smoked out, we can set our trap. Thanks, Larry. Well. Hello, Vazis. Hello. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> that means you've been playing poker again, huh? Oui, poker. Monsieur Kerrigan, that hoppy has cleaned up most everybody in the camp. I tell you something. I think he's cheat. You do? Oui, oui, you come with me, I show you. All right, we'll see if he does. I won't stand for that. In my camp, no matter if he is a friend. I'll see that. I'll call it. from bottom of the deck. Come on. Cassidy, I'm grateful to you and Nelson for what you've done, but I won't stand for crooked gambling. Get out of my camp. Are you out of your head, Jim? We're not card sharps and you know it. And what are you dealing off the bottom for? We have watched you through the window. You cannot. Wait a minute. Johnny. Don't any of you get any ideas. Wait a minute! Let him go. Trouble enough in this camp.
Baptiste, what's happened? Why have Hoppy and Johnny left camp? Monsieur Carragano kicked them out. They all cheat while they play cards. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, but that can't be true. You doggone tootin' it can't be. It is true, mademoiselle. Monsieur Carragano and I have seen them. Where is Father? I don't know. I think he go to his cabin. Say here, Baptiste. Hoppy and Johnny are friends of mine. I ain't gonna let you or anyone else say they're card slickers. You big overgrown ox, I'll make you eat them words. <laughs> oh, my little friend, you want to fight with me? <laughs> You'll do to start with. <laughs> <laughs> you boys put on you was pretty convincing yourself now that we got the trap set hoppy when are we gonna bait it tomorrow morning that'll give jim time to spread the word around that we're a couple of crooked tin horn gamblers <laughs> uh, take care of that hoppy. when i know when to spring the trap you'll know in plenty of time and jim not a word of this to anybody not even california or elaine mm -hmm. okay right now, good luck boys Kerrigan stopped you men? That's right. If the boss hadn't have stopped us, we'd give those crooks something to think about. A couple of sarsaparillas. And you'd better get out of town before you run out, you tin horns. Hold it! Now, is anybody else interested in whether we stay in town or not? Kerrigan ran out of his camp? Yeah, they've been fighting us. But after what happened yesterday, I think we can make good use of them. But how do you know that camp run out wasn't just a plant? It's a real thing, all right. The loggers would have killed him if it hadn't been for Kerrigan. Uh -huh. Well, sound him out, and then I'll decide what to do. All right. Ed. Is it true, Johnny? About what? About you and Hoppy being called shops. You don't believe that, do you? No, I don't. Why, no crooks that have helped Dad like you and Hoppy have. That's right. There must be another reason for you two leaving camp. Get it over with, Johnny. Well, as a matter of fact, there is no other reason. And as for helping your father, we figured we'd make a clean up when his contract was over and he paid off the men. Why, you low down, son. I thought you cared for me, Johnny. Oh, is that also part of your crooked scheming? They'll do all right. Bring them to my office. Good day, fellas. Ed Petrie would like to see you. Petrie? All right. things with Kerrigan and make some money beside. It's on your mind. A dam above his rollways. If it went out, there wouldn't be enough water left in the river to float a toothpick over the shallows. No, thanks. There's a dozen men around that dam watching it all the time. 
But we know a better way to stop carrying them. Yeah? How? We're not talking till we see the color of some real money. Say, uh, 5,000? 5, 5,000. 5,000? Well, man, you must be out of your head. Well, just forget it, mister. Come on, Johnny. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think maybe we can get together. Sit down. I'll be back in a minute. Want to play a hand? Might as well sit in. Ding blasted, nobody can tell me they're crooked. They're too doggone straight to be crooked. Get up. Well, mister, what's your plan? If it's all right, you get the 5,000. But I have to know first what it is. Well, it's very simple. We fire the logs the rollways. With a little help, we can start a blaze that'll take months to put out. Yeah, and what's more, we know when and where to strike. All right. It's a deal. It's a deal? Yes. Thanks. Now, huh? here's what we're going to have to have. Bad, yeah. You better send him to camp right away. Yeah, and get a doctor for him. We. Oui. Careful. Yeah. Take it easy, boys. Poor old Jim. He would get it. We. Oui. Hey, where's Slade? Never mind Slade. Listen, monsieur. If anything has happened to Monsieur Carrigan, I think maybe something has happened to you. Well, Baptiste, I feel just as badly about Jim as you do. But we framed this whole thing to trap Peter in it. Petri? Yeah. He is tail do this? No, he didn't pay us to do it. But are you tell me the truth, monsieur? I am telling you. Listen, the if truth, you do not I... tell me what happened to Jim. You, Monsieur Johnny. He's pit pay on the Bundy Rollways. No, of course not. Now, will you please go to Jim? He'll explain the whole thing to you. All right, we go. And if what you say is the truth, by God, we go to town and clean out Petrie and his Lucaro. Right. Come on. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. The doctor will be here soon and fix monsieur just like new.
What do you say? Monsieur Carigani can say nothing. Baptiste, you got to believe what I Take told him and lock him up in the tool shed. Make the train ready for steam up. On, Go on, get quick. Along, get along. The rest of you come with me. By God, we go for town. Slate's loose. We gotta get out of here. Well, what are we gonna do now? Hey, there's a place we might get out. everyone but me and now they're coming after you i'm getting out of here uh, wait a minute before you clear out take care of the dam and i'll give you five thousand extra get my head shot off for those guards no thanks the guards have left the dam i saw them they must be on their way here with the others are you sure yeah it's a deal yates get some dynamite and rifles and some more boys right Make a move. I'll drill them full of holes, Hoppy. Trap Yates. Hurry. Hurry. I'll go, Dad. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, then, will you?
Hey, where's Petrie? I don't know. California, stay here and keep your eyes open. He might come back while we're gone. Where are you going, Hoppy? Just stay here. Okay, I'll, alone? Slade said... Never mind that. We're Slade and Petrie. They're on their way to the dam, and I don't think... My car, you won't get away this time. Wait a minute. Petrie's on his way to the dam, and I... You don't fool me. You can't lie. Baptiste! It's all right, Baptiste. We made a terrible mistake. Dad told me everything. I can't tell you how sorry I am for being so stupid. Didn't I tell you there weren't crooks? Sacre nom de nom. Then you have told me the truth, Monsieur O.P. Pietri, I've got to blow the dam. Yeah, and there's only one chance we can stop him. Let's go. And you too. Yeah, yeah, you too. Okay. Have him get the log ready. California, put the ace in the tool shed with the others. Come on. Get going. Johnny, won't you tell me now what you're going to do? We're going to ride to Highland. But that's too dangerous. It's the only chance we have to get to the dam ahead of Petrie. Quick, my friend. Hurry like anything. Here, make fast the cable, quick. Got an extra pair of gloves. Give me a couple of guns. Here, Mr. Raffi. All right, she's ready. Happy. Wait. What are you doing out here? I won't have you do this. I'd rather see the dam go out. I thought you told me I was running things around here. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is. <laughs> Forget about it and don't worry. Let her go. Be careful, Johnny.
cover. Ha, 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 ha. 